this is the windiest I've ever camped in. the campsites around us. We're 155. Got the tarp up. Making some dinner. Well, let it Super windy. Great spot on the lake though. That's a sleeping giant. And lastly, Aaron's tent. So camping last night was interesting with how windy it was. That's the windiest night I've ever had in my tent. And uh, it just continued coming and blowing until about two in the morning. Every once in a while they would, the winds would gust up even harder and <clears throat> rain was coming here and there and then all of a sudden the wind started picking up really hard and then a heavy rain came for a little bit and then once that ended the wind just pretty much stopped and it was everything was calm and still after that for the rest of the night and into today now this is day two and the cool thing is that I slept a lot better once the wind once the wind died down last night after eating dinner. It was a little bit later since we had to wait for it to cook and everything and the wind made keeping the stove flames underneath the pot pretty difficult so it took forever to boil water. Um, I was just sitting out staring up at the stars in the sky and just unbelievable amount of stars you could see up there. And I saw a meteor and it was very awesome and uh, yeah. Today we're gonna go over to a canyon after this hike and uh, continue our drive across the northern section of Lake Superior to Lake Superior Provincial Park so we can camp there tonight. We're at Owimowet Canyon and we're about to, we're coming up on the first viewing pod of two different spots where you can see the canyon cool thing is that at the bottom of the canyon there's plants that can survive in the Arctic a thousand kilometers north of here but apparently they somehow can make it down here too in the base of this canyon. Hi no problem how are you doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, looking down is freaky. It's just a big drop down. But that view is awesome. Incredible. Oh. 
there's two theories for how the canyon formed and you can pause here and wow. here cool. it's we met canyon not oh we met yeah we met we met well, nice That's a cool rocky post. Here's some info about the Arctic plants that I was talking about earlier. You can read that guy. And here's a map where we are. Here's a thousand miles, a kilometer, kilometers north. And, uh, yeah, the canyon wall is 100 meters tall. Don't drop the phone. Yesterday we had a lot of rain to deal with and today it's now cold enough that it's snow. So it's less wet, which is preferred, I would say. It's uh, 1143. Lunchtime. Here's the sign that talks a little bit about the lake, but uh, here's the part that I think Lake Superior can produce dangerous and windy gusts and high waves. I'd say yeah. After our stay last night on the lake at the uh, Peninsula Park, and then uh, you know just having crazy winds coming on coming into our campsite, we were staying right there on uh, on the lake. So, but yeah, these are these are big waves, and it's really windy out here right now. staying at a campsite on a place I think it's called Wawa or Agawa Bay something like that just south of here on Lake Superior I think this time though we're gonna try to get a campsite that's not right on the water this so we're not you know just getting battered all night long by this fun wind It's the third day out of five and we're, we packed up camp and we're gonna hit the road to go see some stuff in Canada before we head back across the border. Hmm, this side of Lake Superior is a little bit different. 
Very sandy beach. Cool lighthouse. We're at Whitefish Point in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. After this, we're going to swing into a brewery and get some lunch. A lot of driftwood. So we just got to camp, we're at um, 12 Mile Beach Campground, I think it's called, on Lake Superior, and it's pretty sweet. This is the sandiest ground I've ever camped on, but uh, here's the site. Aaron's gonna get his tent set up here in a little bit, but there's a little tent pad. Got some firewood, got some neighbors, nobody to this side. But this is the cool part across the top of this sandy pathway, you come out to overlook Lake Superior. We've got our own private path down to the beach. And it's um, warmer here than it was the past couple nights. We hit 53 today, and right now it's hanging around 50 Fahrenheit. The other nights were quite a bit chillier. We'll have to watch those clouds. I wonder if they're moving in. The thing is, we don't have service at this site, so there's no way to check the weather on the phones or anything, but I guess we could flip on a radio and see if they have, they have anything to say. This morning is one of the most picturesque ones on our trip so far, waking up at camp. Look at the beautiful lake and the sunrise. And we're gonna be heading off soon to to go see Pictured Rocks. We are in Pictured Rocks National 
park. It's big. It's a really cool spot, actually. I'd love to come back here and spend more time exploring this massive area that has so many sweet things to go do and look at. So, putting this one on the list to return to. We're at Pictured Rocks, and uh, I like the view here. Really cool rocks. Cool cliffs all the way around. This place is pretty cool. When we were at Lightfish Point White House, I had found this cool rock that has a little hole in it, or an indentation. Not sure what that was caused from, but now we know, thanks to the sign at Pictured Rocks, formed round bubbles of gas. Cool. And that's the rock. Copper Harbor is a really beautiful drive out here, and it's just uh, the point of a peninsula that sticks out into Lake Superior. All right, we're in Porcupine Mountain State Park, and we checked into camp about uh, probably around six, and now it's 7.30. We've been trying to get our fire started. All the wood here is wet, but look at this. We lucked out. There was a whole stack of wood at the campsite already. So here's the, the road in, and uh, we parked. We got the wood, plenty. Got our fire pretty much going, I'm hoping. Although this isn't the first time that I thought it was good to go. Everything's wet. It's been raining this afternoon. We got our tent set up, and the cool thing is there's only three campsites up here, and we are the only ones that have any of these three. So we got our pick of the lot, uh, and uh, this is a primitive site, so luckily, well, yeah, it's nice. There's a vault toilet over there. There's a couple cars over there. I don't know if they're hiking or if they are at a like a hike in sight that's you know back in the woods. But we were looking for a, a pull up in camp because we didn't bring backpacks and stuff. It's a road trip, you know. So we're gonna get this fire good and ready for dinner. It's gonna be a little bit later dinner, but we have brats. And if the fire fails, which it will not, but if it does, we have we're gonna eat some uh, mountain house meals. 
and we'll cook up some water or boil water on the stove if we need to. So, yeah. Tomorrow we drive to Duluth and finish out the loop around the lake and uh, we'll probably grab something to eat there and then finish out the two hour drive from Duluth down to Minneapolis. It's been awesome so far. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Well, here's what we have to show for the results of trying to start the fire. Just kidding. Look at that! It's beautiful! We've made brats and creamy garlic pasta noodle things and we're gonna put the brats inside of it. It's gonna be good. That is a hot fire though. <laughs> it's now the morning of the last day and here's just a quick update. I ended up moving my tent last night um, a bit before dark and I found this little tucked away cubby back here so I thought that was a pretty cool spot to, to hang out. Um, also last night about 2 in the morning I heard what sounded like a woman screaming in the woods that way over there um, kind of up near the road where we came in not too far away from my tent and that freaked me out made the hair stand up on my neck and my heart was going because you know some responses. It was, I couldn't control that, but it was freaky. But um, I'm pretty sure it was a fox or a bird or something, but it was weird. I'm gonna go hiking. We're doing the hike up to the scenic observation tower. It's been a pretty steep elevation gain over short distance, so it's been a good challenge. This is the first lookout point. You can see the hillside over there shrouded in some little clouds or fog. Pretty neat. Say something weird. <laughs> I just ate some berries off a tree. <laughs> <laughs> 